Today I'm going to show how technical publications can be used to increase both productivity and customer satisfaction at your organization. In this demonstration, I'll be using the 3D publishing software, which is used to make full documents, multi-page, uh, that include associative 3D views and interactive parts lists, etc. I'm going to start with just a work instructions template and then select the model that I want to include in my 3D views. Once the template has loaded, I can show how the model I selected gets pre-populated into each of the 3D views that is part of the template. I'm going to do change the title and add a new illustration. Illustrations are always part of a storyboard. Storyboards control what animations and configurations are shown. A storyboard consists of one or more illustrations. This first one that I'm going to show is going to be uh, some safety instructions that are fairly common for the first page or the cover page of uh, any work instructions. I'll add this electrical symbol here and uh, make it red to hopefully have it stand out more, make it a bit more of a warning. And then from here, I can accept the illustration and then move on to the second illustration for this storyboard, which will be the first step of the assembly or disassembly. I can get different views easily by using the viewpoint tool, and then I can highlight the back cover as part of the view. And then by using this grid tool, I can have the arrow that I choose parallel to the plane I selected rather than parallel to our screen. Once I like the illustration, I can select the check mark to accept it. And then the last thing I'm going to add to this page is a table to navigate between the two views. I'll increase the text size so it's a bit easier to read. And you can see that it automatically populates the, the animations and so it's very easy to toggle between the two views. The second page, this is just a table of contents that is automatically populated based on the titles of the other pages. So there's not a whole lot we have to do there. For the third page here, I'm going to create further instructions for removing the motor assembly from the back of this sewing machine. To do that, I'm going to create another storyboard that will illustrate the disassembly process, but I'm going to do it in a different way by starting with an exploded view. Exploded views can be taken and are transferred from Solid Edge. However, I wanted to show how it can be done inside 3D Publishing also. So I've created my new exploded view, and then I'm using the viewpoint tool to change my camera angle. And now I'm going to select the parts that I want to move. And by using the tools inside 3D Publishing, I can choose the direction that I want them to move away from the assembly. So I've moved, removed the back cover and the fan. Now I'm going to do the belt also. Another tool that is helpful with productivity is selection sets. Uh, it allows you to create sets of parts that aren't defined elsewhere. You can also use the 
assembly tree, which is very similar to what you would have in regular Solid Edge, to select entire sub-assemblies and move those as well. Once you've finished m moving all of the parts, you get a exploded view that is broken out into steps. And from this point, you can use what is called the storyboard wizard, which will take those steps and create a storyboard from it. Now that my storyboard has been created, we can see each step broken out onto its own illustration. I'm also going to add another illustration to the storyboard. This will be our starting point. I'm going to make sure that it is kind of a full shot of the front of the sewing machine. This will give us a more continuous uh, storyboard uh, to kind of link all of the steps together. I'm also going to adjust a couple of these views so that they are more complete and show the full assembly where it's necessary. As you can see, making these adjustments and um, creating this storyboard doesn't take a whole lot of time using 3D publishing. It's really beneficial when it comes to creating the work instructions uh, by using the models that already exist and the associativity between them. Creating these types of work instructions uh, can be done uh, very quickly. Also, with the animations and transitions between each illustration, the instructions that do get created are very high quality, very easy to understand, and any person who would be using them, whether internal or external, um, can benefit from using the animated instructions that get created in 3D publishing. So I have nearly finished renaming the illustrations in this storyboard. And the last thing I want to add to the storyboard here is a parts list that is inside the view. And this will be on that second to last step where I have multiple uh, parts being removed in, in one animation. So I have created a new parts list, and I used the function that allows me to create it based on which parts I already have selected. And then I can place the parts list in this illustration, and um, once I've finished formatting it, I can complete the illustration and move on to the last step for this page. For the last step, I am going to add navigation, just like I did for the first page. But first, I want to go through and make sure that the animations look the way I would like, like them to. As you can see, it did all of the animations for me. I've added that table in for that step. And then finally, it shows removing the motor assembly, which was our uh, original objective. So now I'm going to add the animation the navigation and instead of using a list with the names of each um, illustration I'm going to use what's called the carousel and this just shows a thumbnail of each illustration instead of the name you can use those gray bars at the top and bottom to scroll between each illustration and that will allow you to either go through each step in order or you can uh, jump from step to step if necessary. For this fourth page, I plan to create instructions for disassembling the motor that we removed on the previous page. I will be using a different method that from the previous couple of pages uh, first, I'm changing the background so that it matches the rest of them. 
and then I'm go going to create this storyboard and uh, name it appropriately. But from here, I'm going to select the configurations, and I will use a configuration that had been created in Solid Edge. By using a, an existing configuration that was already created in the CAD model, you gain quite a bit of efficiency, especially if this type of configuration had to be created uh, for another purpose anyway. Um, so I used that configuration and created a an illustration for this storyboard. And then I'm also using a motor, uh, an explosion of the motor that was created in Solid Edge as well. Um, from here, I can just create a second illustration, accept it as is, and that will basically complete the two illustrations that I wanted for this uh, motor disassembly. And then I'm quickly switching the interactive parts list to use the parts list from the uh, motor configuration, and that way the only parts listed are the ones that are visible on the page. Furthermore, when you're editing parts lists, you can add and remove columns as needed inside 3D Publishing, and any of the properties that are present inside Solid Edge CAD are also present inside 3D Publishing. So if there's any properties that you would want as a column, those can be added as well, and they are already brought over when you bring the model into 3D Publishing. Just like on previous pages, I'm going to add some uh, navigation to the page. I want to use some uh, buttons this time, and 3D Publishing makes it very easy to do so. Most of the objects, whether it's shapes or images, have uh, built-in interaction capabilities with the 3D views. So you can simply add the, in this case, illustration change and um, grab the settings. After completing that fir first one, I can just copy and paste, change a few of the settings, and then I will have my exploded view button in addition to my collapsed view. Once I've finished this exploded view button, you'll be able to see how easy it is to switch between the collapsed and exploded views here. I think it's a huge benefit to have these interactions available for you know, work instructions and you know, user manuals, etc. Another very important piece of technical publication or technical documentation is the association with the CAD model. Um, that is something I've mentioned a few times, but another example of it is how it handles updates to your models. Even after you've started creating your technical documentation. Uh, publications makes it very easy to update your models and bring in any changes that have occurred since you started. Um, you'll see in this example that uh, a few flanges were added to the bracket for this motor, and those were easily brought over, and all the interactions, animations, parts lists um, will all still function just as they did before the update. The last thing that I need to do to complete the work instructions is prepare the page for publishing. Um, I can get rid of this fifth page that uh, I didn't intend to use. It was a, a part of the template. And then I need to make sure that each of the pages is set to the default view that I prefer. Uh, so this first page, I want it to be on the first step, and same with the third and fourth pages. I just need to verify that those are set to their uh, home positions, and then I can go ahead and publish the document. When we publish documents, 
we do have a few different options to do, choose from. Uh, 3D PDF, HTML5, and of course, we can also print the documents on paper. In this case, we're going to use HTML5 so that we can host the document on a website. One huge benefit of using HTML5 is that um, any device, any person with that has access to a web browser will be able to access the documentation. This is a huge benefit because it allows any person, whether internal or external, is able to open and view the documentation that gets created. We can take a look at the results of our example today. We are able to see all of the 3D views, toggle between the different illustrations, and see the corresponding animations, in addition to the other elements on each page. If there is any interest in exploring this solution further to improve your organization's technical documentation, please reach out to us using the information shown on screen.